Dr. Kennedy. Uh, this is Pete Cadmus from Will Clements' lab at Colorado State University. Uh, you know, you, you inquired about the emergence traps, and the truth is, is that several other people have as well. I was going to write up a nice SOP as to how to make it. The truth is, it's just going to be easier to show you by video. So I'm going to have a series of videos. I'm going to cut them up so that I can email them to you. And first one, I'm just going to compare my emergence trap to ones in the past and then show you how to build them in the following videos. So just real quick, this one here, oh yeah, it's a small greenhouse, so my head's going to be cropped up. I apologize. This one here is from Dr. Kurt Bausch. It's identical to the one that Colvin Baxter used, and it's a really nice setup I did. Uh, so they aspirated. I decided not to aspirate. I totally trust their ability to aspirate, but um, if I was finding it was taking me 10 minutes and I was dropping organisms in the stream, and if I used the boogie board technique where I put a boogie board underneath it and then I moved it to the bank, I was worried about getting uh, organisms that had emerged elsewhere and were just hanging out on the bank. So I opted against this. The other reason I opted against it, I mean, it's beautiful. It's well sown and it's got a little, a little Velcro entry. But man, the amount of time and money that went into this, if I lost them, I would start crying. I wanted something that was going to be cheap and was going to be under $10. Certainly couldn't afford those crazy BioQuip $300 or $200 ones. So we came up with this. And this, uh, this has served us very well, but the big reason it works well is because it has a bottle trap. And Boris Kondraty have said, if you're going to do aspirations, you need to be sampling from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and have it done. At 10 minutes each, there was no way I could do it, because I was having over 100 emergence traps spread out over six miles. So I needed a way to just to either uh, paddle or walk down the river and swap out, the, swap out the bottles. So this is what we came up with. And what's nice about that is insects emerge and they're most active in the morning and at dusk. So in the afternoon is when we would do the bottle trap. We would set it up in the morning, right? Let it equilibrate. Let all those organisms just sort of work their way in and out, in and out. Maybe there's four or five of them at two in the afternoon when I start. But boom, I put it on. I come back 24 hours later, I take it off. I put a new one back on. I come back 24 hours later and I take this one off. And that worked really well for us. There weren't a lot of residual organisms in the net in the afternoon. In the morning there were, but by afternoon they have all worked their way up into this bottle trap. Uh, the nice thing about all of this is it's the, the parts are identical, they're cheap, you can buy them at the hardware store. Let's just take it apart so you see how it works. First of all, uh, there is no hammock. Um, Colvin Baxter and Dr. Fausch's version, there's a hammock where organisms can sit. We didn't want that, we just wanted them going straight to the bottle. So as you can see, it's just a nice little pyramid funnel shape. Boom, they come up into that bottle and then they fall in. You can either use a kill strip or you can use ethanol, okay? Uh, how the flotation here, as you can tell, this is just a fun noodle, a little kid's fun noodle, and we split it long ways. And then we just took some PVC and split it into clips, right? So these clips you can get, you know, a foot for, for 70 cents. So those things are cheap. And the uh, fun noodles you can get for a dollar at the dollar store. There's two of them, and then the perfect length. Uh, we used the same size base as Kurt Bausch and Colvin Baxter and numerous other people. Uh, the inside dimension here looks to be 23 and a half inches, same with there. And uh, now that we're taking this off, you'll see that these are also attached to the frame with PVC. So the, the frame is made out of half inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And then the clips here, the PVC clips, are three quarters inch Schedule 40 PVC pipes. And I'll talk more about that later. You'll also notice that ours have absolutely, well, ours is really dirty because it was in the field, but hey, that's ecology. you also notice ours has no sewing, okay? It, we did originally sew this, but that took five minutes. Why waste the time? We just stole this from the, from the office manager and uh, we just took some binder clips. You can roll them up. Binder clip them. If you need to get in there when you're in the water, you can still reach your hand in. For the most part, bugs don't get stuck in there. Works really well. And then you don't cry when you lose it 
in the river or it breaks, right? Because you didn't invest much time in this design. Um, I'm going to end the video right now. And the next thing I'm going to show you is this bottle trap and this net, what the dimensions are, and how to build it.